Hello, welcome to Jenny's Food Network. Earlier in my other video, I had talked about um, the juicing effects, about people getting to the juicer machine and they're just juicing where, it's, where it separates out the fiber and it separates the juice. They drink the juice and then they just throw out the fiber or they use it for their gardens or they use it for their soup or food, whatever, or they just toss it out. So I was talking about the juicing effect and then after that, towards the end, I had talked about the, the Atkins diet created by Dr. Zach, Dr. Atkins. In case if you're wondering, in case you, if you guys don't know, Dr. Atkins had died years ago. He died of um, slipping on ice or something and cracked his head, or fell down, hit his head, and just didn't live very long after that, and he just died. So in case you guys are wondering, okay, so they did this really, really interesting documentary that I saw, and it was really interesting. And they did this research after he had passed away. So they're saying is that for Atkins diet, how could it possibly possibly be that that to be on the Atkins diet, you have to be in a very high protein diet, meaning that you could eat a lot of steak, you could eat a lot of meat, as long as you're getting a very high protein meal, but you have to stay away from high carb foods, and you pretty much something about you have to stay away from like fruits too because fruits are very high sugar and that with carbs is what makes people gain weight you know and so they did so to really test how could that be they did a test where they had two groups one group was the high protein group that ate mainly just a lot of meat throughout the day very high protein but they stayed away from all carbs stayed away from like really high sugary stuff like fruits for example okay so so the other group was the group that had a high carb meals, okay? And they had fruits and stuff. So what happened was, and they checked the weight of everybody as a group, you know? So the people in the high, in the high protein group, they had lost weight. And they had lost more weight than the other group that had like a very high carb diet, with like, you know, the intake of fruits too, I believe. So the high protein group that ate a lot of meat, they had lost more weight than the other group. And they're like, how could that be? And so they had really, you know, investigate the whole thing and then watch their habits and stuff. And what had turned out was how when you eat, when you eat meat, it is very hard to digest. It takes hours and hours for your body to digest, okay? And so the meat group, the high protein group that were eating a lot of meat, even though they were eating less than the other group, okay, because they said they just weren't that hungry. And so the people who were eating a lot of meat, the protein group, they didn't eat as much because they felt fuller for a longer time and they didn't feel hungry much. So they didn't eat much, okay? So that makes sense, right? Don't forget. When you eat meat, it is very, very heavy in your body and you feel fuller for a lot longer time. It takes hours and hours for your body to break down meat, okay? So that makes sense. So then they eat less and they weren't eating much at all. They're just full for a very long time and eat very little each day. The other group that were high in carbs and, they're, and they were eating sugary stuff too, like you know fruits and stuff in their diet. So what happened was that group were eating a lot actually. They were eating more often, they were feeling hungry more quickly, okay, and what happened was they're just eating more throughout the day and they're feeling hungry much quicker because what they're eating digests very quickly, okay. And this reminds me of another documentary that I saw that did a similar um, test on these two type of groups and to result in who performs better in exercising, okay? That really helps a lot, it makes sense, okay? So I'll just finish up this documentary that I'm talking about. So what happened was that other group, they were not losing that much weight at all, okay? Because they're eating more frequently, they're eating more, and they were feeling hungrier much quicker than the other group, okay? So that makes sense, right? So when you eat more often and you eat more of a po bigger portion, and you're feeling hungrier more and more quickly, then you're gonna eat more, okay? So they're eating a lot more than the other group. 
even though the other side was more high protein, very heavy meats and stuff, you know? So it makes sense. So, so that's what was going on with the Atkins diet, okay? That was what, that was not explained by Dr. Atkins, okay? That, um, he was just, Dr. Atkins was just a very confusing concept, you know? But now, with the, with the, um, the research that they've done, even after Dr. Atkins had died already, this, this research, scientific research, really makes sense now, is because the meats make you fuller and heavier, and, and you just didn't feel hungry for a very long time, so you weren't eating much, you know, and, but the other group, the food that they were eating digests very quickly, the high carb diet, the, the high carb in food intake was very light, and it was just making you just hungry a lot, okay, so they were eating more and more throughout the day, and they just kept feeling hungry, so they're eating more, so they didn't lose much weight compared to the other side. So that's that, and I will talk in my next video about this other documentary I saw, which is very interesting as well, and it kind of correlates to the Dr. Atkin diet, okay? Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.